And his, if the vaping crisis couldn't have got any scarier, well, now we've got this. His buddy told him he was vaping CBD and it would help him relax. The reaction was quite the opposite. Two puffs and he ended up in a coma. That's because he inhaled more than pot. Nightside's Liz Burst talked to a young man who thought he was vaping CBD. Liz, he ended up getting rushed to the ER. Yeah, he did. Jay Jenkins says he bought what was labeled as CBD at a convenience store in Lexington. After taking a couple of hits, though, he realized something was very wrong. I'm thankful to still be here, obviously, but um, yeah, it was kind of a close call. Jay Jenkins is a junior in college. He never expected to be in the situation he ended up in in May of last year after he tried smoking what he thought was CBD. I thought that it was a pretty, you know, risk-free thing to try. Um, so I tried it. I hit a cartridge that I bought in a store uh, two times, and then I kind of slipped in and out of consciousness and ended up in a coma. He began having an extreme reaction right away. Uh, honestly, at that point, uh, this is going to sound silly, but I thought that I died. But at the time, I knew that something was was very wrong, and I didn't know how to fix it. I didn't know what caused it. All I knew is that you know, I, wasn't, I wasn't really in my body, if that makes any sense. His friend got him to the hospital. He ended up in a coma for 12 hours, and the hospital thinks he could have kidney damage. It wasn't actually CBD in the cartridge. It was synthetic marijuana. The AP tested 30 vape products labeled CBD and found 10 of them actually contained synthetic marijuana. Jenkins message to consumers now, be careful what you buy and what you vape. Definitely say be cautious. Um, as of right now, the CBD market is very loosely regulated by the federal government. I did reach out to the FDA to ask them how the regulation of CBD products works. I have not heard back yet. You can read that full AP investigation on WTSP.com.